this is Camo Pigeon 342 and today I'm going to show you how to uh, create your own custom slider uh, and put it on customize for the 2.0 firmware. First thing you've got to do is you need to install customize um, for two, on your 2.0 jailbroken iPhone or iPod touch. Uh, go look of if you haven't done that, go look up a video on uh, the Pwnage tool, um, or if you're on Windows, WinPwn. Uh, after that, you need to make sure that you have an SSHing program that works for you, that you're comfortable with, that uh, you know how to navigate through. If you're on Windows, you can use WinSCP. If you're on Mac, I'm using CyberDuck right now. Uh, if you're on Windows and you can't SSH very well, or very well, that's a relative term, um, if you can't SSH period, go to go to Google and search iPhone browser. I've got a bunch of videos on it. Um, all my other video, well, most of my other videos use iPhone browser. So uh, go look up that, look up that, and you'll uh, you'll be able to use that. That's really a really really simple. So uh, first thing you need to do, you need to go as far back as you can. All right, so you're gonna go into var mobile library customize to and then you're in your themes area of your phone and so once you're in there you can uh, you can search for sliders now the best way to do this is to go and to download a theme from customize so you connect the connect to your Wi-Fi go into customize go into your themes go into the themes actual thing and then uh, download download a theme all right and so once you download a theme I downloaded booth 2 uh, you're gonna do that and then you've got all these things in there all right so the main slider the one that you're gonna wanna modify is gonna be under main slider so you gotta scroll and find it and there it is all right and there's the main slider for booth 2 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this over to my desktop it's putting it on there right now okay so now that it's on there I've got main slider 1.png and that's what you gotta keep it saved as so there's your main slider 1 and then I'm gonna open up Photoshop because that's what I use to uh, edit all my crap with so I mean if you're on Windows you can use paint if you want I don't know any kind of editing thing you can edit it with pretty much. So once this opens up, keep going. All right. So now that we got Photoshop open up, I'm going to open I'm gonna open up this right there. All right, so here is the main slider. Let's make that bigger. Okay, cool. So now Let's say I want, I don't know, what do I want to make here? What do you want to do? It's a, well, actually no, go like that. Okay, so I'll paint bucket there. Now that part's green. That's kind of cool, I like that, let's do that. All right, so we'll save this, file, save as, okay. Now, it needs to be in PNG format. It's going to want to save it as a JPEG or a Photoshop document. Neither of those is going to fly. All right? You need to save it as a .png. Make sure you save it as main slider 1, not main slider 1 copy. There. So main slider 1, capital M on main, capital S on slider. It's all one word. There's no spaces in it or anything like that. All right? So I'm going to press save. And I'm going to replace that one that I have. Okay. So now I'm going to close this. I'm going to exit out of Photoshop. And there is the slider that I just made. Alright. So now, close all this up. I'm going to go back up to here. I'm going to do that. Nope, it didn't work. There we go. Okay. So now, what I need to do is I need to make another theme to put this slider in. Because I don't want to just get rid of that slider. There's no fun in it. It's not, 
it's pointless it's just less sliders to have so what you need to do is make a new folder title it whatever you want to title it I'm gonna title this one custom theme okay and now that's there so go into custom theme and you're gonna to need to make another folder so you go into new folder and you need to make this folder main slider okay so capital M A, and then lowercase for the rest of that word and then capital S on slider okay you press create go into that folder then you're going to click drag main slider one dot PNG over into there okay and now it's in your phone you've got or in your iPod touch or whatever you're using um, you've got your custom slider you can edit the sliders to uh, to be whatever you want them to look like I only pull it out of there because I don't know the dimensions of it I don't know what the pixel to pixel ratio is um, so I just pull it out of there and edit it like that it's a lot easier for me because I'm lazy so uh, yeah hopefully that worked for you if you have any questions leave a comment and uh, I'll be sure to help you out thanks for watching